we certainly know that Wake County students have an incredible <laughs> wealth of talent, and tonight it was on full display. It is a giant showcase of the arts. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live at the Duke Energy Center for the Performing Arts in downtown Raleigh. And Nick, you said this was pretty incredible to be able to see in person. I love you, Black kids. Yeah, right. And Angela, the 40th annual Pieces of Gold event feature everything from dancing to singing and a lot of smiles. It's the hottest ticket in town here at the Duke Energy Center for Performing Arts in downtown Raleigh. She's doing a tap number with her school and it's our second time doing it with the school, but her first time performing. So it's been very exciting. A joy for Caitlin Garner along with fourth grader Kimora Boyette's family. It's, it's nice to get out and do something positive, um, lift the spirits a little bit, and just have a good time. They are among hundreds of families that pack the venue for the annual Pieces of Gold event, which showcases the musical, singing, and dancing talents of more than 1,200 Wake County students. Beyonce, Drake, Taylor Swift, they're all on stage along with Serena Williams and Michael Jordan because the arts impact everyone. This is the 40th year for Pieces of Gold. For Governor Cooper and his wife, Kristen, supporting the arts is personal. All three of our children participated in theater. Now when there's so much competition in the schools for things we should teach our children, sometimes the arts get pushed to the side. We cannot let that happen. A midweek showcase that Kimora's sister, Kaya, wouldn't have missed. I'm proud of her and it's been a long week. And you guys, the cool thing about this event is that the money uh, from the ticket sales goes directly to the Wake County Public Schools Art Education Programs. In Raleigh, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. That looks like a blast. Looks like they have fun, right? But a lot of hard work, Nick. All right, thank you.